Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining OACAC for our virtual college exploration week. We're excited to have you joining us this morning and look forward to spending the next 45 minutes with you. Throughout this presentation, your microphone and cameras will be off so the presenter cannot hear or see you. However, you will be able to utilize the Q&A function to ask questions throughout the event. A recording of this session will be provided on the OACAC website, and you can continue exploring future sessions on the website as well. At this time, I will turn it over to Dominican University. Thank you. Good morning or good afternoon. My name is Ruben Burnley. I'm representing Dominican University. Dominican University is a small private liberal arts Catholic school uh, in River Forest, Illinois. We're about 10 miles due west of downtown Chicago. Today, I'm going to share a video of our campus to kind of give you a campus tour so you can virtually see what we have here at Dominican. And then after that, I'll follow up with a presentation about Dominican University. Welcome to Dominican University in River Forest, Illinois. My name is Araceli Sanchez. I'm a former Dominican University student from the class of 2015. I'm currently a recruiter in our Enrollment Management and Marketing Division and an adjunct instructor in our Rosary College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour. Dominican University is leading the way in developing new and better methods for supporting our students and ensuring our graduates are ready for anything. We can't wait to welcome our new and returning students to campus this fall. At Dominican, your needs and education matter most, and your Dominican experience will be life-changing. I know mine was. So we'll go ahead and show you the campus virtually. Dominican University was founded in 1901 and we've been in River Forest since 1922. Behind us is our beautiful fine arts building. Let's take a look inside. Our world-class performing arts center is home to our 1,200-seat Lund Auditorium and Martin Recital Hall. Throughout the year, we host major concerts, professional theater productions, prominent national speakers, and student-run shows. This is also the space where our fashion design and merchandising students put on their annual fashion show, a student-led production featuring original designs by our seniors that bring in top industry professionals. Behind me is our newest building, Parmer Hall, which was opened in 2007. This is the home to our Bora College of Health Sciences. In Parmer, we have state-of-the-art laboratories for biology, chemistry, anatomy, neuroscience, and nutrition dietetics. We also have amazing nursing simulation labs where students practice an incredible range of technical skills on high-tech mannequins that mimic all of the body's systems and responses. In our spacious atrium, we host our annual student research exposition. At many colleges, students have to wait until graduate school to conduct major research. Here, not only do all undergraduates have that opportunity, we even award scholarships and assign them faculty mentors to help them achieve their most ambitious intellectual and creative endeavors. This spring, because of the campus closure, more than 100 students moved their research presentations online in a matter of days and held the event virtually for the first time ever. It was amazing. This is one of our larger classrooms located in Parmer Hall. At Dominican, we don't really have big lecture halls. Most of our classrooms are actually smaller than this. Our average class size is only 16 students, probably more intimate than you had in your high school classes. And that is by design, because the close personal connection with professors here is real. They are dedicated first and foremost to students and to teaching. That sounds obvious, but it's not true at many universities where professors focus first on their fields of research and publication, for instance. Here, professors and students collaborate with each other on their projects. Your professors are so eager to meet and talk with you one-on-one -on -one about your interests, your career goals, and they remain lifelong mentors. They don't just know your name, they really know you and care about you. The Brennan School of Business is accredited by the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business, which places us among the 5% of business programs worldwide to earn that distinction. Besides the great academic programming, Brennan offers career development resources, including a team of former top executives who can help you polish your resume and prepare for job or internship interviews. We really encourage every student, no matter their major, to complete at least one internship, and we have staff to work with you to make that happen. We also offer many opportunities to connect students with potential employers through job fairs and mock interview events. So we take career development very seriously. Many of our students have great jobs lined up well before graduation. 
Students looking for employment on campus have loads of great jobs to choose from that offer valuable resume experience, from graphic design to working in the IT support center. You will not be sent to fetch coffee. You can even find student jobs that align with your major. This is our incredible social hall. Throughout the day and evening, you can find all sorts of events and activities going on here. One time we had VR gaming, the other time we turned the social hall into an indoor ice skating rink. We also had a reggae band come in here to get everyone dancing one afternoon. Beyond student events, we have 35 student-led organizations on campus for every interest from improv to anime. If you can't find one you like, you can create your own. This is our dining hall. It's all you care to eat and we have options for all diets. As a former student, I can tell you that everyone on Dominican's campus is friendly, so you'll never have to sit alone. If you want to learn more about our dining options, please visit diningdu.com. This is the Cyber Cafe, which is one of my favorite places to be on campus when I was a student. Here, you can grab a quick bite to eat, study, or hang out with friends. Normally, this place is bustling with activity. This is the Noonan Reading Room, one of the most beautiful and reflective spaces on campus, really the heart of this university, and it's also a great quiet place to study. This is Rosary Chapel. Even though we are a Dominican Catholic institution, we welcome students of all faiths or no faith. We are an open and welcoming campus rooted in the principles of caritas and veritas, or love and truth. So now we're on the ground level of one of our residence halls, Coughlin Hall, also known as the Coughlin Commons. There's always someone on duty at the security desk keeping everyone safe. And this is also a space where you can hang out with your friends and play a game of pool. So now we are in one of our standard freshman rooms. As you can see, we have beds, desks, and dressers for each of our students. For the fall, we definitely will be exploring all the possible precautions resident students need to take in order to maintain social distancing. If you want to see our other residence halls on campus, please check out our student life tab and our homepage, dom.edu. This cool hangout space is known as the L-Stop. If you have some free time between your classes or studying, you can invite your friends here for some video games, board games, or just to chill and watch TV. Our fitness center is a great place to fit in a workout. You have access to this even after you graduate through our alumni program. This is our IGNI Sports Forum, where several of our 14 NCAA Division III women's and men's teams play their home games. The crowd is always so lively and lots of fun for the home basketball and volleyball games we have here. Outside, we have a beautiful soccer field where our highly ranked soccer teams play. You can check out DUStars.com to learn all about our D3 athletics at Dominican. We also offer lots of fun intramural sports, so here everyone can play. I also want to point out our incredible location. We are located in River Forest, Illinois, which is one of Chicagoland's safest suburbs. At the same time, we're only 10 miles from downtown Chicago. We have a free shuttle that takes you to and from the Green Line Station, and that is our link to downtown and its amazing career, internship, and cultural opportunities. The Quad is such an amazing place. When it's nice outside, you'll always find students studying and playing games out here. And the Quad is home to some of our most unique traditions, like the candle and rose ceremony. That's when, just after dusk on the eve of graduation, seniors process along the cloister rock and symbolically pass the flame of knowledge, a candle, to the underclassmen. The Rebecca Crown Library is a great starting point for your research needs. It has an extensive range of print books and digital research databases, along with a team of professional research librarians who can assist you in person or online. The library is a great place to study, whether it's in one of our group study rooms or in our modern lounge areas. Dominican has invested for years in robust and innovative ways of ensuring nothing stands in the way of student success. Here's a general overview. During your first year, we'll sit down with you one-on-one -on -one to lay out a whole roadmap for your four years here and beyond to make sure you're able to achieve all of your goals and complete as many high impact opportunities as possible, like internships and major portfolio projects. A fellow student and upperclassman working as a peer advisor will check in with you regularly to see how you're doing. They are trained to help and direct you to a whole host of free services from tutoring, help with writing, workshops on study techniques, and more. We have a wellness center that offers free healthcare services, counseling, and workshops on things like mindfulness and dealing with stress. During the COVID disruptions, all of those services have continued seamlessly online through telehealth and other platforms. Your professors are also an integral part of this holistic support network. The bottom line is we have a data-driven system designed to flag any potential challenges and act fast to clear away obstacles so you can focus on learning and achieving. 
This is our on-campus full-service bookstore where you can find everything for class and beyond. Many of our students are anxious about the upfront cost of textbooks. One way Dominican helps with that is by providing every student a $500 line of credit every semester in order to purchase those textbooks. Once you decide that Dominican is the perfect fit for you, please be sure to come by and grab your Dominican gear. Here we are in Lewis Hall, which is one of the first buildings on campus. It was actually designed by one of the architects that designed Princeton University. On the first floor of Lewis Hall, you will find the offices of Stars Connect, which is our one-stop shop for all things related to financial aid and student account services. Speaking of financial aid, at Dominican, 100% of our incoming freshmen receive some form of financial aid. Among universities of our size in Illinois, we rank number one in best value according to U.S. and news reports. Lastly, behind me is the office of our president. Everyone at Dominican, from our president to the professors to the staff, are accessible and very engaged with our student body. Thank you for watching and for considering Dominican University. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions that you may have. We are here for you always, and we hope you and your families stay healthy. We can't wait to welcome you back to campus in person just as soon as we can. Well, that was a little video about Dominican University of our video here. Now I'm going to share with you a, a presentation about Dominican. So a little bit about Dominican University, as I mentioned before, if you haven't caught, uh, we were here earlier, but we're a small school, roughly about 2,100 students, but we do offer big results. And so in this presentation, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what Dominican has to offer here in a small private liberal arts Catholic school just 10 miles due west of downtown Chicago. In this presentation, we'll talk a little bit about the academic life here at Dominican, a little bit about campus life, and then also scholarships and financial aid opportunities. And it also give you a link to be able to connect with us either for in-person visits or even virtual visits as well too. So a little bit about Dominican, we have for about uh, 16 to one is your average class size, 10 to one is your student to faculty ratio, and we have over 50 different majors. We'll talk about a few of them in the next slide. And then we actually have some 14 accelerated degree programs. Like our business program is actually a five-year program where three and a half years receive a bachelor's and a year and a half receive a master's. And along with our so school of social work, which is three and a half years of psychology or sociology and a year and a half receive a master's. Um, we do have zero lecture halls, but I have to kind of smile about that because uh, even though we're small by design, but some of our classes, like maybe a psychology class, might have 30 or so students in the classroom. We actually moved those classes from the original classroom space to maybe our lawn auditorium, which is about, I was about 1,100 people to see a show or a play or production on campus. So that's quote unquote, uh, quote, uh, quote our lecture hall. Uh, but we still really don't have any zero lecture halls here, but we do. In, in regards and response to COVID, we have moved some of our classes into larger spaces to create a little bit of social distancing as well. We have over uh, 50 different majors. These are a list of our top five majors that we offer here at Dominican. The number one one is nursing. We actually have a pre-nursing track and a direct entry nursing program. For direct entry nursing, or for students, incoming freshmen, if they have a high GPA and be selected by our nursing program, uh, 10 students will actually have direct entry into our nursing program at Dominican. They still have to maintain over a 3.0 college GPA and score over 68% or higher on their ATITs exam, which is a certification exam for students. Um, students that are just getting admitted to our pre-nursing program, they can still be able to apply for the school after their second semester of their sophomore year, as long as they have a solid GPA, like I mentioned, 3.0 or higher uh, on core classes and a 68% on their ATITs exam. Uh, what a nursing program, we're connected with 20 area hospitals in the Chicago land area. We are, but on our campus, we actually have two fresh human cadavers that we receive each academic year for our pre-med and our nursing majors. We also have a high fidelity lab room, which is a computerized body that does everything that you and I do except walk. And we also have our own trauma center where we actually create a kind of a hospital experience where we do co-educational teaching with our pre-med, nursing, uh, school of social work, nutrition and dietetics program, and 
also our religious studies programs because some some of the hospitals that you're at has a religious preference and so being able to understand the uh, working of religion and health uh, we actually integrate that in our, our trauma center that we have on campus we actually have psychology is another one major that we offer here at Dominican where you're able to do adolescent psychology and general clinical psychology we are a research college that means that you'll be able to do research during your freshman year here at Dominican some of our students in the psychology field are able to do two to four different journal writings and also participate in two to four different research days, which we call ERSI, which is our undergraduate research and scholarship creative investigation day that we offer here at Dominican. It's a great day that we have students from all majors to be able to do their presentations and be able to present it to the overall college community. Last spring, we weren't able to do it as a face-to-face -face, uh, opportunity for our students and faculty and staff, but we were able to put all our presentations via Zoom, and it was a great experience for our students here. Our next major that we have is biology, which houses our pre-med and our biology program that we offer here at Dominican. And then we also have an engineering program as well that is a co-op program for students who are looking to go into engineering like biomedical engineering, uh, chemical engineering, civil engineering, which is a co-op program with Illinois Tech as well too. Um, also along with our biochemistry program is another program that we offer at Dominican. But our number one unofficial major that we offer here at Dominican is actually called undecided or deciding or I don't know. The good thing about it, you don't have to declare a major until your first semester of your junior year here at the institution. So students that are in our undecided majors, um, uh, like I said, they'll take some core curriculum classes, uh, classes with uh, critical reading and writing, mathematic classes, um, also some uh, natural science classes, which are part of kind of your core class with natural science, philosophy, uh, theology, also a social science class as well too. But also all students are gonna to have to take something called Endearing Question Seminars. And these Endearing Question Seminars have been part of the Dominican tradition since 1901. Usually in the freshman year, you're gonna take a class called Examine Life. And how that class is, is where you might be in a classroom with 16 other students from all different majors. And you might be into business and someone might be into one of the sciences or fashion design or computer science or informatics. And the professor might come in and say, what is Examine Life? for a business major, or what is examine life for a nursing major, where you might have to do a one page uh, presentation about that, or maybe a five minute dialogue that you explain what does examine life mean with your particular major. But also this class is a kind of like that self-thought class, but collaborative thinking class, where we might put you in uh, with a group of other students, and we might give you a topic, current events, local, national, pop culture, and be able to have open discussions about this topic, and might have a little bit of uh, pros and cons about what this topic is, and how be able to help you out to make decisions down the road as well, too. Usually in your sophomore or junior year, take a class and call it a life in the natural world. And your senior life, a senior year is called the good life. It's a good life is an integrated seminar class that you get to take. And it's kind of one of those classes that get to know who you are before you walk across the stage towards graduation. We also have students that are able to be part of our honors program. And usually just to be part of our honors program, we take students that usually have about a 3.75 weighted GPA and our honors program will evaluate your transcript and be able to decide if you'll be part of our honors scholars program. With the honors scholars program, some of those core curriculum classes that I mentioned before and the seminar classes that were in a previous slide, you'll take that as an honors level. Also with the honors level, we actually, we bring in a Lund Guild Chair, which is a nationally renowned uh, professor, uh, also internationally known as well too, because some of our Lund Guild Chairs have been Nobel Peace Prize winners as well. Um, so they'll be able to teach a certain honor subject, but also teach one of the seminar classes as well and do guest lectures. In the past, we had Dr. Ibu Patel, who's the director and founder of Interfaith Youth Corps, which was part of President Obama's cabinet. He was here for a full academic year of teaching and then also brought back students to DC for internship. We actually had Christopher Kennedy, the nephew of John F. Kennedy, here teaching a global economics class and also a seminar class here as well, too. So some that are well known and some that are not, they're not well, they're well known in the academic world as well, too. Another opportunity for our students in our honors program is being able to do a study abroad program at University of Oxford. Only our honors students have that availability to do a full semester or full year over in England at University of Oxford and also opportunities in regards to research. 
Speaking about study abroad, we are one of the first two colleges to ever offer a study abroad program in the United States. Uh, we have 16 different countries that we offer uh, for students to do study abroad programs. And you can be able to do some like two week programs during the winter break, or even an alternative spring break opportunity, or even some five week summer programs. And then we actually have the traditional full semester or four year of study abroad programs. And usually your financial aid is helps to help offset some of the costs for your study abroad. Also, every student that comes to me is going to have some type of internship. Um, and we, you could be in a paid internship or even a credit inter, uh, uh, for non credit internships as well, too, here at Dominican. And then be able to do a lot of research collaborations with your professors here at the university. Speaking of internships, here's a list of some of the internships that we offer for our students. Students that want to go on our digital cinema program, being able to do an internship with NBC Universal Media. Students that want to go into research with biology or in science fields, being able to work with the Argonne National Laboratory, which is literally about 30 minutes away from campus here, uh, from Dominican's campus. Uh, students are able to do some internships for business in the Chicago Blackhawks and other top five uh, athletic teams in the Chicago Lane area. So we have a career development office that's involved with you starting your freshman year to be able to help you to get to the path for internships and also job placement. Also within our career development, that is housed in our Student Success and Engagement Office. Student Success Engagement Office is going to be involved with the students as soon as they declare as being a Dominican student, starting off with coming to orientation and being able to meet with your first year advisor and also your peer advisor. And then once you declare your major, which you usually can do that by the first semester of your junior year, you'll actually have an academic advisor to be able to help plan out and finish out your remaining years here in Dominican. Also being able to have some type of leadership training as well too, uh, which is housing our student success and engagement. We'll also give out support for disability support services. So if you need access or accommodations here at the university, you're able to do that as well too. Also, we have a wellness center, you know, being able to connect with a wellness center need counseling. Also during finals week, they're also being able to do a connection with uh, uh, having therapy dogs on campus as well too. So it's a great opportunity for you to connect that way with our wellness center. A little bit of location, I mentioned this before, we are 10 miles due west of downtown Chicago. Uh, 10 miles, it does not mean 10 minutes, but 10 miles from downtown Chicago. We are five minutes. We have shuttle buses that run right on the front of our campus. Uh, we have two campuses, one up Division of Harlem and another one on Division of Thatcher. But uh, we actually have a shuttle bus that goes every 20 minutes from our main campus to our Division of Harlem campus to be able to connect with you, to get you into the Green Line or even the Downtown Oak Park. But also we offer a shuttle into Downtown Oak Park to be able to get connected with different restaurants, movie theaters, uh, different areas of towns, and also connected with the Green Line as well too. Also, we have four residence halls on our main campus. Just to let you know, this year for our students, all our students are living in a single room uh, just due to COVID. So everybody has a single room uh, on campus. Uh, we all, but also some of the rooms that we have are kind of like suite style where you have two people in a suite. Uh, both are all in different rooms, but you have one bathroom that you share amongst each other. Or even in our regular hall, which is Cognitive Hall, which most traditional freshmen live at, you do have a community style bathroom, but it's not uh, about 16 students trying to share a bathroom. It's actually about eight to share with about eight stalls that are in there as well, too. So definitely a great opportunity for you. But we also have some study spaces within our library, but also our common lounges, which are in residence halls as well, too. We actually have two dining services. We have your main dining hall that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, which you saw probably in the video. But we also have a cyber cafe, which is a great hangout where be able to pick up a quick coffee or maybe pick up some sushi in between classes. You're able to do that within our cyber cafe here at the university. We have over 35 different clubs and organizations here at Dominican. No one's gonna say you have to join all 35, but our different clubs range from academic clubs, which means like our business club or psychology club, or even our special interest club, like a gaming club or fashion club we have on campus and different ethnic clubs on campus, like our Latino Student Alliance or Black Student Union, our Italian club, Polish club, different things, different ethnic programs that you'll be able to get connected on our campus. Now let's say there's a club organization that you were involved with in high school or you wanted to don't see it on our campus, you can be able to create a club organization here on our campus. Uh, some students have actually started some clubs literally about 10 years ago, and it's still going strong today. So definitely it's a great opportunity for you to create a club and also as a resume builder as well too here. 
We also have recreational and club sports for students to be able to get involved with, also intramural programs that students are able to get involved with. So if you still have that competitive spirit and you want to compete, compete with you know, some classmates or floor mates or even professors, you're still able to have that opportunity here at Dominican. As I mentioned, we are a small private liberal Catholic school, but we're open for all religious backgrounds, but our mission and ministry department is very prevalent on our campus. Uh, with our university ministry program, uh, which is open for all faith, being able to do some leadership components, but also leadership by faith opportunity as well too. We do have a performing arts center that uh, right now we're not offering any plays reductions this fall semester and potentially in the spring, but usually we usually host about five different plays reduction on campus and we have two auditoriums. One is our Lund Auditorium, which is your traditional auditorium that houses about 1,100 people to see a play or production. And then we have your Black Box Style Theater, which is our Martin Recital Hall that holds about 75 to 200 people to see your play or production here at Dominican. We are Division Three for Athletics, which means we do not offer any athletic scholarship, but we have 14 intercollegiate sports teams. Um, ranging from baseball, basketball, cross country, golf, soccer, tennis, volleyball, uh, and then also softball for women and also women's bowling. Women's bowling was a, a new sport that we started last fall, uh, but currently so all our fall sports due to COVID is actually moved to the spring semester. So pretty much every sport that you see here is hopefully gonna be started in the spring. So we'll have all, it'll be a very robust opportunity to see all our athletic teams to be able to compete uh, all during the spring semester, hopefully if everything goes well. Uh, if you're interested in our athletic programs, I would suggest you to go to our athletic website, which is dustars.com, and fill out an athletic questionnaire, and our coaches will be in contact with you. Our men's soccer team has actually been always ranked in the top 25 in the Midwest, re uh, Midwest region, and also nationally as well, too. Um, they've actually reached all the way to uh, semifinals for men's soccer. Women's, uh, women's soccer actually was, uh, for the past three years, has been conference champs and then also only had one loss within three years within conference play. Our men's volleyball program, which literally started around less than 10 years ago, has reached all the way to the semifinals for division three and also quarterfinals for men's volleyball. So very competitive programs that we have that opportunity for our students here. So about uh, a mission process here at Dominican, we are rolling a mission. Uh, we actually started reviewing applications about two weeks ago from, from this video. Uh, what that means is that we look at your application from either from the Common App or even our own application here at Dominican. All we require for you to submit is a personal statement. So one of the running prompts from the applications, which one you decide to choose from, and then also your official high school transcript. Uh, we're looking at about a 2.7 GPA. Uh, we're not requiring you to submit a test score since we're test optional. So we're just looking at your high school transcript, your personal statement. If you want to supply letters of recommendation, you're more than welcome to supply a letter of recommendation. But right now, only thing we're looking for is your uh, transcript, a personal statement, and your application. And once you submit that, you'll be able to get a, a mission decision from Dominican University. Kind of give you a profile from our students. We have total enrollment with our grad and undergrad program, about 3,100 students out of 10. Uh, a lot of our students' average GPA is about a 3.72 GPA. We look at weighted GPA. Right now, 37% of our students are first-generation students here at Dominican University. And we very, we're bring in a very diverse background here. 69% of our students, students of color are attending Dominican University. So we're very proud about our diversity here at Dominican University. So this is a list of some of our, in, uh, not internships, but where some of our students are working at. Students that are going in our pre-med program and go off to med school or working at the Mayo Clinic or working at University of Chicago Hospital. Uh, some of our students have actually worked for uh, administration roles for the public school systems in the Chicagoland area, but also working for Amazon and Groupon as well too. So definitely we do send out some students. Uh, one of our most famous alumni or graduate is the, the, the director and founder of WeatherTech floor mats that are involved with the cars. Um, he's actually a, a Dominican grad and also his, his mother's name is the name of our nursing program as well too. So that's one of, one of our prominent graduates that we've had at Dominican University. In U.S. News & World Report, we were ranked number 10 out of 160 schools as one of the best regional Midwest uh, universities in the Midwest. We're also best value in the Chicagoland area and number 11th in U.S. News & World Report as best undergraduate teaching program. Uh, 
Uh, we're ranked number one in Illinois for social mobility, but ranked number three in the Midwest region. Social mobility is helping out unrepresentative uh, Pell eligible students being able to get into the work field or going to grad school after graduation. And we're very proud about these rankings that we're, we've been offered with US News and World Report. So the best thing is, uh, one thing about college that everybody's looking for is about how we're gonna pay for it. Well, one thing we call that, what, instead of just financial aid, we call that affordability. And affordability is compared with, four, has four components. One is loans. And so if you're eligible to file a FAFSA, uh, you're eligible for any loans that you can be able to use that to help pay for college. Uh, students that are residing on campus and even our commuter students who are able to have a chance to do student employment on campus. We're able to earn about at least about $2,500 of additional funding to help pay or offset the cost of college as well. Also based off your FAFSA, you're able to get some need-based grant aids uh, from either from the federal or even uh, from an institution as well too. And then we also have different scholarships that you're able to apply for. Uh, our merit-based scholarships range based off your GPA. So if you're one of our average students, about a 3.7 uh, GPA, you're probably gonna be in a range of about 15 to $17,000 in merit-based scholarship. Um, so that's our merit-based award. Um, on the, our website, dumb.edu backslash merit calculator, you can be able to put in your high school name and then also your, G, your weighted GPA, and you can find out what your merit award might be here at Dominican. All students who live on campus are also eligible for our Residence Life Award, which is for out-of-state students, such as students on this, uh, uh, on this webinar. Uh, they are going to receive $4,000 of Residence Life Associate, uh, Award from there. Also, if you attend a Catholic high school, since we're a Catholic university, we're also offering a 2,500 Catholic high school scholarship for any of Catholic high school graduates that attend Dominican. And also we have something called a success scholarship. This is for students who are involved with some type of college enrichment community-based organization, kind of like a, a TRIO or upper bound program, something that helps out with uh, students out of school that helps out with uh, going into college, seeking out colleges opportunities. And so that's additional $2,500 scholarship that we offer for students in that field. We also have some competitive scholarships for students, students that want to study Italian. Uh, we do have a modern language class with uh, Italian or Italian studies. Uh, that's a competition-based scholarship to receive some additional money. Students that are going in our uh, business program, any of our business fields like accounting, finance, economics, international business, marketing, management, also our newest major entrepreneurship. Uh, you can be, be able to be part of our Bread and Business Scholars Day, which is usually the third Saturday in February as well, too. Students that want to go into biochem or chemistry will be able to apply for our Brechtel Science Scholarship, which is a very competitive program that we have here that's additional funding. Now, students who might not be able to file a FAFSA, we, are also, uh, we also compete in the Dream US Scholarship Fund, which is a national scholarship fund for students. We're able to get additional funding to help pay for college. Also, students that qualify for our top two scholarships are able to receive additional funding if they're not able to apply uh, or fill out a complete a FAFSA here at Dominican University. So this is our calls for the 2020-21 academic year. Tuition alone is roughly about $34,950. Our fees are around about 660 for resident fees, and a room and board is about 10,865. So our total cost for students is about 46,475. Um, that's uh, not all students are going to pay that full price. A lot of our students are not paying a full price, and their out-of-pocket costs might be a little bit less than $9,000 here at Dominican University. 100% of our students receive some for, receive financial aid, either it's from merit-based scholarships or information from the fast or from our internal documents that we have here. Uh, our average scholarships and grants for most of our students are receiving about 24,366, but we also offer over $30 million in institutional scholarships and grants this past academic year. So definitely operative. We have some bright students that attend Dominican and be able to receive some of our funding to help offset the cost for college. So I would welcome students to be able to come visit us. Um, I know that right now we're in the midst to a pandemic, but if you're able to come and visit us, we do offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, visits in persons, but we also do virtual visits. 
or you can go to our website, dom.edu uh, backslash visit and then be able to schedule maybe a virtual Zoom visit or maybe a, a FaceTime visit as well too. Uh, we do have some information sessions that we have. But one thing I do wanna tell students is that November 14th, we actually have something called a virtual Discover Dominican Day. And it's just gonna be academic focus. So if you're one of those students who might be a undecided major, maybe the first hour you can hear from one major, maybe it could be a psychology or science field. And in the second hour, you might wanna hear from a different major, it might be our university ministry or religious studies, or maybe our, uh, our new food nutrition or dietetics program or health communication. So it gives you a chance to kind of listen to our professors and talk about the programs that we have here at Dominican. And then on some Saturdays, we do have in-person campus tours uh, that we offer here at the institution. So also, uh, students are able to download our app, Discover Dominican app, to learn a creative profile, get up-to-minute reminders about your application. And then also, you can follow us through social media as well, too. So this would be a great time to connect with us with the app or social media, but you can always contact the Office of Admission. We can get you connected with your admission counselor here at Dominican University. So I'm going to stop sharing and open up the floor for any questions that you may have about Dominican University. And it looks like we don't have any questions. So I'm just gonna wrap up real quick to kind of give you a, syn a synopsis of Dominican. Like I said, we're a small private liberal arts Catholic school, roughly about 2,100 students in our undergrad program. Uh, 16 to one is our average class size. 10 to one is our average student to teacher ratio that we offer here at Dominican. We have over 50 different majors ranging from business, psychology, nursing, fashion design, even everybody's favorite major, which is called I don't know or undecided. And every student that comes here is gonna have a first year advisor to be able to speak with you and be able to help get you connected as well too. Uh, we have 14 intercollegiate athletic teams here at Dominican, and you can be able to uh, uh, get recruited by our athletic coaches by filling out a website on our website, which is dustars.com, and fill out an athletic questionnaire as well. And we also offer 35 different clubs and organizations here at Dominican University. And we also offer different merit-based scholarships based off your GPA and test scores here at the university. And our general admission requirements are roughly about 2.7 uh, GPA, and then uh, be able to submit that because we are test optional. So I thank you today for uh, joining this webinar and I wish you guys all the best in this academic year and hopefully we'll be able to see you here at Dominican University soon. And I'm gonna pass this over to our facilitator to wrap up. Thank you again to Dominican University and thank all of you for joining us this morning. When you close this window, a very quick four question survey will appear on your screen. We encourage you to check out a recording of this session and explore others at oacac.org. And we thank you again and hope you have a wonderful day.